Hello, I'm Tabitha. I'm the author of a book called How to Talk to Robots. I wrote this book because I am really conscious of the fact that I have the luxury of understanding artificial intelligence and I really worry about the number of people who don't get this tech, don't feel like it's for them, aren't that bothered, um, and rightly so, feel like it's a bit of a brotopia. Uh, and I think that we have to find a way to get you all more interested in it, understanding it, the risks and the rewards. So the first one is embrace change. So that all important thing we all think we're good at doing, but in this scenario, in a world that's dominated by artificial intelligence, the most important thing is actually to look inside of yourself and think about what makes you uniquely human. Because ultimately artificial intelligence is changing everything about the way we work, live, play, and AI will be rolling into your business and into your day-to-day -day job if it isn't already pretty soon. And so I have a chart in the book where you can think about all the different tasks that you do in your everyday life and which of those are uniquely human and which could be done fully autonomously by a machine and which are a little bit of a uh, partnership. And so it's a really great experience to go through and start to think about those uh, interlocks. The second is talk to a robot. Now, I'm not asking you to go out and buy a robot. You might potentially, or at least know somebody who has Siri on their phone or Google on theirs, uh, Alexa at home, and you can, uh, and you probably already have spent quite a lot of time trying to talk to your machine and hating it. Um, it's not easy, it's pretty frustrating uh, as you'll read in the earlier chapters of the book, a lot of it is uh, coded by machine, by men, uh, for men, and so it doesn't really recognize some of women's voices, but there's many, many reasons why you actually keep needing to try. Um, one of them is because I personally think um, you will have many more uh, parts of your job that will need to be done from, uh, from speaking to machines. So what about we test something? How about this? Hey Siri. How do you say how to talk to robots in French? In French, how to talk to robots is comment parler aux robots. I mean, the guy, the fact that it was a guy saying it uh, will get over, but that was pretty cool. The third suggestion is to protect yourself. So while you're using all of this technology, we must start to think about the security concerns, the bias that's inbuilt into this technology, and there is a lot of that in the risk section of the book. So I won't get into it now, but we talk about uh, boring things like GDPR and how actually they're there to protect you. And the fourth um, action is to be part of the conversation. So I want you to um, bring your expertise that you already have, come together with others. In the back of the book, there's pages and pages of book lists and movies and suggestions to watch. Join your friends and read them. Um, if you're in a scenario where you are uncomfortable with the fact that artificial intelligence has been using, being used in your business, look at joining a union. There are so many ways to collectively come together about this. The fifth action is to ensure other people are heard because really a lot of the things that I'm advising in the book and also that you'll be doing yourself today are privileged and we need to think about the fact that there are lots of um, people who don't uh, have the same privilege that we do, access to information, um, and so think about where are those areas that you can encourage other people to get involved. So I for one decided that the proceeds of this book will go to a charity called Rosa, which is actually it's not a charity, it's a fund that funds charities, and what I'm hoping is that it will um, be able to spread some of its funds to people who might be made out of work because of automation. So that was one tiny way that I have um, tried to make one of my own actions um, and I hope that you find your own one too. I, uh, I wish you good luck in your journey in how to talk to robots and I will speak to you hopefully online at some point soon. Bye bye.